guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike Vance, and today we're taking a look at the newest version of the Bad Cat Hot Cat. All right, so before we get started, this is gonna be a little bit more in depth of a demo than I typically do, just because I really like this amp, so I just wanna play through the whole thing. Um, so to give you a little overview, this is a 45 watt EL34 amplifier, uh, two channel with built-in reverb. Uh, it, it's actually a digital reverb, which is nice. So, you know, gets shaken on stage or gets bumped or whatever, you don't get that crazy spring sound. Um, it's sitting on top of the Bad Cat 212 loaded with Celestian Vintage 30s. And I have it mic'd up. Uh, I, don't, I don't think you guys can see the mic from the video. I've got it mic'd up on uh, one speaker with a Shure SM7B. And I've got an, an Audio Technica AT4040 on the other um, speaker. So uh, I found that that gives the most realistic uh, sound or the, the best that I can get from here um, that translates well through, through video. All right, so let's start with channel one, which is the clean channel. I've got the whole EQ section set at noon and we'll just kind of tweak from there. And I am playing a PRS Silver Sky uh, and right now I am on the neck pickup. <laughs> So I really love the sweep on this presence knob because you can do so much with it. Uh, as you can hear, it's it's pretty chimey, almost voxish territory right there. Or maybe past voxish territory. And then when you roll that thing all the way back, when you toy with the treble and then the present. You can almost still imitate like an American, you know, amp sound. Which is great for in the studio or live or pretty much any situation you want it in. This thing so far, I'm absolutely loving it. Like I said, 45 watts, tons of clean headroom, lots of options straight from the amp without pedals. Uh, I'll get to the reverb in a second. It sounds fantastic. Um, so anyway, Let's show you what the gain sounds like all the way up on the clean channel. top of being a two-channel amp, 
The Hotcat also offers you a low and high gain setting. On other amps, this might be displayed in actual inputs labeled one and two, but on this, it's on a foot switch and you can just switch between the two. So right now we're on low. <laughs> And that's still the clean channel with the gain cranked. And here is the high gain. As you can tell, it also gives you a slight EQ curve as well. Here's the neck pickup. So it boosts those bright, chimey sounds just a little bit, almost like a presence boost as well as a volume boost. All right, now let's see what it sounds like cleaned up a bit. So let's take a look at the reverb now. Uh, this is just a one knob reverb. It's just spring. And like I said, it's digital. So, you know, it doesn't freak out when you, <laughs> when you bump the amp. All right, moving on to channel number two. Okay, so as you can see, I have set the EQ section back to noon uh, across the board. I love this channel because you can get everything from super, super low gain all the way up to, to just crazy. So halfway through this demo, I'm gonna swap over to a PRS to give us some humbuckers so you can get a real feel for what the gain section sounds like. <laughs>
right, so once again, let's take a listen to the difference between the low and the high gain. <laughs> All right, so now I've pulled the gain back just a little bit so we can really hear a major change. Okay, so one of the other nice features on this amp is that it does have an effects loop on the back. So I will take a picture of this. I'm not gonna do a video of it, but I'll take a picture. I'm using uh, a Strymon Big Sky, a CE2 Boss Waza, uh, a Walrus Audio, or Wal Walrus Audio ARP 87 uh, delay. And then I'm also running a uh, Nordvang triple gain uh, into the front end. So everything else is running through the effects loop, the, the chorus delay and, and reverb are all in the effects loop. And then the Nordvang Overdrive has a uh, Klon, a TS-10, and a uh, Blues Breaker in it. So we'll be just toying around with a couple different things. I'm not going to touch anything on the amp. I'm only going to mess with the pedals right now so you can hear how they uh, interact with the amp. <laughs> Okay, so that's every pedal on the board on uh, one overdrive, and the entire wet section is on. So chorus, delay, reverb. Now here's just chorus, delay, and reverb without the drive. So here's just reverb and uh, I'm gonna go through all three of the drives. We'll start with the TS-10. Klon. And last but not least, the Blues Breaker. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me out tremendously. Uh, if you liked what you heard, go check out Guitars to Be Played. Uh, it's a guy named Josh Ingram here in Nashville, Tennessee. He's an absolutely great dude, and he has just started carrying these Bad Cat amps, and I couldn't be more excited. Thank you again, and I will see you here next time.